Welcome to Leesburg Today's Daily Update from May 6th. I'm Samantha Bartram. The man who went on a crime spree in Leesburg last summer will spend the rest of his life in jail. A circuit court judge today sentenced 50-year-old William Spencer to two life sentences to be served concurrently and an additional 58 years to be served consecutively. In January, Spencer pleaded guilty to two counts of robbery, one count of attempted robbery, three counts of abduction, one count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and three counts of use of a firearm in commission of a felony. The life sentences came for each of the robbery counts, and Judge Burke McCahill sentenced Spencer to the mandatory minimums for each of the gun charges and the maximum 10-year sentence allowed for each of the four remaining charges. Around 11.30 a.m. July 10, 2009, Spencer entered the other kind of jewelry store on East Market Street and attempted to rob it. When that plan failed, Spencer's getaway car and lookout left him in downtown Leesburg, where he went on a crime spree in an attempt to elude authorities. After shooting at residents on the street, he broke into a Royal Street home, tied up a babysitter, and ultimately the parents when they returned home to check on their two-year-old child. He then stole their Jeep, eventually breaking into the home of Robert and Francis Belote on Valley View Avenue. He held the elderly couple hostage for more than eight hours and forced dozens of area homes to be evacuated before surrendering to authorities. After years of watching the legal battle from the sidelines, the Board of Supervisors is taking a formal position in the Leesburg water rate trial. After a closed session meeting Tuesday, the board voted unanimously to authorize County Attorney Jack Roberts to file a friend in court brief in support of the out of town residents' position. Several residents and homeowners associations served by Town Water and Sewer sued Leesburg in 2006 after the town council voted to charge the out of town customers double the rate paid by town residents. The out-of-towners have asked the board, their only government representatives, to speak out in their favor, but the board has always balked. Now that the Leesburg Town Council has decided to challenge the Loudoun Circuit Court decision supporting the out-of-town residents in state Supreme Court, supervisors decided to take an official position agreeing that the rate structure is unfair. Dulles' all-star legacy enjoyed a fun international visit this week when the Dream Team cheerleading squad from Finland stopped by to train with its athletes. After traveling to Orlando to support other Finnish teams in the cheerleading and dance worlds in April, the squad decided to take advantage of access to the top facility and spent three days training and receiving instruction from all-star legacy's team. The Finns are preparing for their country's national competition in December and, before that, grueling qualifying rounds. Legacy's instructors were able to pass on invaluable tips on tumbling, basket tosses, stunting, and choreography, giving the visitors an edge when they return home. Finally, there's still time to grab tickets to Saturday's 100 Women Strong Diamonds and Denim Gala event, where dancing and cocktails go hand-in-hand with major philanthropic giving. The nonprofit will award its second round of grants since its inception two years ago to five worthy Loudoun nonprofits that night. $75,000 in grants will be distributed among the Ark of Loudoun, Loudoun Abused Women's Shelter, Loudoun Community Health Center, Loudoun Interfaith Relief, and Loudoun Youth. To boot, dan- guests will enjoy a live DJ and dancing, hors d'oeuvres, colorful cocktails, mixing and mingling till midnight. The Diamonds and Denim Gala is a chance for those interested in learning more about 100 Women Strong to meet organizers and let their hair down at what founder Karen Shawfield calls the ultimate dance party. Tickets are still available for $125 per person, with a full $75 of that cost directly benefiting Loudoun nonprofits. The event will begin at 8 p.m. this Saturday, May 8th, at the studio in Sterling. Grant presentations will begin at 9 p.m. To reserve tickets for the Diamonds and Denim Gala or to learn more about 100 Women Strong, visit 100womenstrong.org. For more on these and other stories around our community, visit us online at leesburgtoday.com.